right, here we are in vegetable paradise. Now, here's a vegetable, well, actually a green, that not many people cook, but I just love the stuff. I think it's really good. It's called escarole. It's in the endive, endive family, whatever. And what I want to show you today is how simple this is to prepare and how good it is. Now, one thing you need to know about escarole and a lot of the greens, rapini, dandelion greens, collard greens, spinach, anything like that, is that when you cook them, they shrink beyond belief. Sort of like a mushroom. You know, you start with a whole bunch and end up with nothing. But anyway, what I'm going to do is I have a pan warming up on medium-high heat. I've already washed and dried this. You know, you want to look for sand because sometimes it can get a little sandy. And so, after washing and drying it, I'm going to add a little bit of extra virgin olive oil to the pan. And put this up just a little higher. Then, one thing you want to do is make sure that you dry this fairly well because once you add the escarole, if it's the least bit wet, it'll spatter all over the place. And of course, you could get burned. And then you might want to, you might not want to cook it like this again. So do dry it the best you can. But when it's got a nice little coarse chop on it, and it goes to the pan, while that is sautéing a little bit. I'm going to slice a couple cloves of garlic. Now what we're going to add to this is some chicken stock, some uh, white beans that I've already cooked. I cooked, soaked them overnight, cooked them with a little bit of, with one bay leaf, only took about an hour or so, and then chilled them so that they got nice and firm. So they're going to go with the garlic, white beans, and a little dried cherry, and maybe a little bit of sugar, just a pinch, because this is part of the bitter green family. These don't take very long to cook at all. And see how they're starting to wilt now? They're getting a pretty little golden color on them. So now, that they've wilted down a little bit, probably only by a third, they have a little bit more to go. I am going to add the sliced garlic to the pan, scatter it around somewhat, and if the slices stuck together, break them apart a little bit. Flip it a couple times. I'm going to add just a splash of chicken stock. We're going to let that reduce almost right out of the pan. That's going to add just a little bit of flavor. And I'm going to add fresh ground pepper to that. And a little bit of kosher salt. And I am seasoning for the white beans as well. Okay, now I'm going to add, oh, probably a couple cups of white beans. You know, this is a really nice vegetable because the white beans are going to add a bit of protein, plus they're really tasty on their own. And then the escarole adds a whole bunch of vitamins. Look it up, you won't believe it. And then we're going to add the dried tart cherries. So doesn't this look great? The greens have wilted down almost to nothing, as they always do. The white beans look fabulous. Chilling them really helps overnight so that they help retain their shape. And the dried cherries add a little bit of color. And I think I'm going to, because my chives are quite up in my garden, I'm going to add 
a few dried chives to play on the little garlic theme that we've got going on. We'll mix that up again. And now, that's warm enough. Let's taste adjust it and see how we did. Wow. You know what? I like the little bitter green, but I think for my friends, they're going to appreciate just a pinch of sugar in this. Not a lot, just a pinch. And I'm using um, darker sugar, sugar in the raw. It has a little bit of molasses in it, so it has a much deeper flavor. Okay, so let's give this another little taste. Mm, that did it. Perfect. Pinch of sugar. Anyway, the greens still have nice texture to them. The white beans are a really good complement. The chives really set things off, and the dried cherries add a nice balance of a sweet tart thing. So, I am going to put these in a bowl to cool them off, and when they're served, these are going to get just another drizzle of extra virgin olive oil on the top because I want the flavor of that as well. There's a quick lesson on a wonderful vegetarian, well, not quite vegetarian because I did use chicken stock, but a vegetable that you wouldn't normally think of to cook up. Escarole with white beans and dried cherries. Yum. Do try it. Well, here we are from the stove with my escarole, white beans, and dried tart cherries. So, oh my God, this just looks so good. So we're gonna put a little pile on the plate. And this is another one of those wonderful dishes that could be served with a little squeeze of lemon. As a matter of fact, I think I might just put just a couple drops of lemon over the top of that. You know what else would be really good on the top of this too is with a vegetable peeler or grated some Parmesan Reggiano. Um, either way, grated nice and fine or with a vegetable peeler, take it off the piece as a whole and let's give it a try just to make sure. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. We got that right. Escarole. If you've never tried it, you really want to try it. It's so good. And it's really a mild vegetable, but packed with vitamins. White beans add your protein. Yeah, that is some good stuff. So I hope I've inspired you to cook something new if you've never tried it and hope to see you again soon.